So now that we got to play with the GoGo -Go shell a little bit, the GoGo -Go shell is more than just a debugging tool. The GoGo -Go shell actually allows us to do a lot of cool different things. So the GoGo -Go shell allows us for uh, allows full access to the OSGI container. So not only can we just take a peek at our bundles, we can actually do things to them, right? We can install them, uninstall them, stop them, start them. We have a lot of control inside of the OSGI container via the GoGo -Go shell, right? We can use the services inside the GoGo -Go shell as well. So the components that we deploy, we can actually call services or call components from the GoGo -Go shell. Also pretty cool. Uh, you can also create your own custom commands like we've done earlier in another example. And you can also execute some scripts as well. Again, a lot, a lot of, a lot more than just a debugging tool. So let's take a look at an example here in which we're going to be calling a service. So just like using the at reference annotation, the service reference does something similar. We're going to grab a reference of a service. And in this case is going to be portal util. We're then going to take that service reference and it's going to be stored within this variable called portal util reference. We then have another variable called portal util. This is like the service object itself. Right, so the service object portal util, whenever we make a call to it, it's going to have the service reference or the service implementation within it. So one of the methods in portal util is get default company ID. So the company ID is the ID number that corresponds with our Liferay instance or the Liferay platform. So we're gonna grab the company ID or the default company ID by calling the portal util service. So we now have the company ID stored in default company ID. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a reference of the user local service. From there, we're going to get then have the user service as our service object. And in so many words, right, we're going to instantiate it. From there, we're going to get the users based off of the company ID. So there's going to be three parameters we pass the default company ID number, a start integer and an end integer. Uh, if you look at the actual API, this actual method, uh, this is going to be a list of users that we're going to be retrieving. So from zero to 100, so we're going to have that many users. And then finally, the last line here is iterate through our list of users and get the full name of each user. So this can all be done through the GoGo -Go shell. Right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I know I'm saying that a lot, but the GoGo -Go shell is, is what it is. I think it's a very powerful tool more than just debugging. So there are technically three different ways we can connect to the GoGo -Go shell. The first one is through Telnet in your command line or in your terminal. The second one right here is connecting to the GoGo -Go shell through Blade. So you can type Blade sh followed by the GoGo -Go shell command you want to execute. So for this example, I can do Blade sh lb to list my bundles. Along with that, um, you can also Take the results of a GoGo -Go shell command and pipe it over to your own shell or your own terminal. Right down below is a bash script that's going to find all of the bundles that have the string blogs within their name and then finds the reference to a specific um, uh, package here, com life here blogs kernel model within their header. And then adding a custom GoGo -Go shell command and is as simple as just creating a component. So we saw how to do that a little bit earlier, but we're going to be doing this again. So again, as a recap, we create a component. We have the property element and within the property element, we set two properties. 
right? The first one is the OSGI command function, which has to match up with a method within our class. The second OSGI command scope is the namespace or the scope to be able to uniquely, um, uniquely identify the specific function, right? And then we implement the function down below as a method. So let's go ahead and do just that. Right, let's go ahead and create another custom go go shell command. So in this exercise, let's say we are a developer, we probably are, or maybe a system administrator. And we want to do some simple things like maybe get the number of users within our library instance. And so you could go through the UI and you can try to find where the users are in the UI and try to find the number there. But why not just make an API call? So what we're going to do in our example is create a go go shell command that makes an API call to get the number of users within our life array instance, right? and as well as the groups or the sites within life array. So these are going to be the steps that we're going to be going through. I'm going to first create a life array module using the template API. From there, we're going to then create an OSGI component, setting the relevant properties and attributes. And then finally, we'll create that method or implement the commands logic. And then we'll deploy, test, and then make that call. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Mm -hmm.